Hey guys, so I'm in the city on my way to the women, black women of excellence brunch. Ugh, I hate being in the city. It's almost as bad as being in Park Slope. I can feel the racist tension. <laughs> so walking towards Taj now. Scaffolding. Ugh, the city. We can preach, we can tell you, like, love yourself, know your words, all that. But all the time, I get it. All the time, I get it. How did you say that? Deep down inside of me. Leave that home. I get it. Yeah. There's no one in the entire world that looks like you. And I don't think it's nice. Get that. I was just about to tell you that. Everyone's like, you know, how do I get your confidence? It's not only like, you know, I, I earned it or whatever, but it's like, how the things that I went through. Do you want to walk in my shoes? Do you want to walk in my shoes? And the last thing you see is a lot of people think it's cheesy. Like, oh, you know, I, like this whole year, it's just like, you me a lot. You have to say, you Being a plus size woman, 
You could be any size. Sometimes we're afraid to wear certain things. Like, oh my God, is this gonna look good on me? Am I gonna look right? And I'm just like, you know, if you feel comfortable in it, if you love wearing it, wear it. You know, you're wearing it for yourself, not for nobody else. Um, in the book, I also talk about, like I said, knowing your worth. I was in a situation I wasn't healthy, but I stayed. If you with someone and you don't feel appreciated and you don't feel love, leave. Your happiness matters the most. What's the, point, what's the point of staying with someone that doesn't make you happy? Like, it's worthless. So I always say, know your worth, you know? <laughs>